Hey everyone, my name is Ben Hunter with Blue Oak Energy and thank you for joining me for this Tech Talk Tuesday. Today I'm going to give you a quick intro to ArcFlash. We'll touch on what is it, why it's important, and we'll wrap it up with how it applies to solar. So, what is ArcFlash? An ArcFlash event is an event that occurs when we have a low impedance pathway that connects two different voltages. A great example of this is lightning. However, what we're concerned with is when we have a like lightning event occur in live electrical switchgear. So, why is it important? Safety. Uh, as you can imagine with lightning, it's an incredibly dangerous thing. When you're less than five feet away from it, it's even more dangerous. So, what are some common injuries? Burns and, uh, and blindness. Depending on the severity of the burns, it can even lead to death. Uh, when an arc flash event occurs, a lot of heat and a lot of energy is released in a very short amount of time. In the lab, the researchers have seen temperatures of up to 30,000 degrees Fahrenheit inside the gear that they're testing. That's hotter than the surface of the sun that's uh, hot enough to melt the, the metal that's in there and can be thrown off in liquid form and whatnot up to 10 feet or more feet away. So when is a study required? The NEC requires labels to be placed on all potential serviceable equipment that can be worked on while under load that's in other than dwelling units. These labels need to state that there's a potential warning or arc flash hazard that is in that gear. The NFPA 70E states that these arc flash labels need to have the voltage that the equipment is operating under, the potential arc flash boundary, and then either the PPE rating or the arc flash hazard rating or the incident energy uh, to be put on that label. So how does this apply to solar? When we're building a ground mount system or we're building a rooftop system, uh, wherever we're connecting to the grid, we need to make sure that we have these arc flash labels put on all our serviceable equipment, be it our AC disconnects or our DC combiner boxes, anything in there that we can service. So that's a quick intro to arc flash. My name is Ben Hunter. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time.